Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 93 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about fuzzy joins in mapping data flow. So firstly, I think everyone knows what is fuzzy join. If you don't know, let me explain you with a small example. So usually what join means, for example, let's assume you have a name column in one file or in one table. In another file also you have a column or a like name. So let's assume here in the name column you have a value called MHER Mahir and here you have a value called MHER Mahir. So in this case, if you perform the join, then since the name column values, that means Mahir here and Mahir here, both are exactly matching same to same because there is no spelling corrections or there is no mistakes in between the spellings and everything. So this will return you back this row. Why? Because the values in the both the columns match exactly. So that's how joins work, right? We know, we all know how the joins work, right? So in the joins, we need to mention this equality or non-equality condition or operator, we have to use it, right? So let's assume, what if, if there is a requirement where I don't need to be match the values exactly, but if I see a similar kind of value with a little bit of spelling correction or something like that, in that case, how to perform the join and how to get the rows. So that is the case where fuzzy joins will come into picture. So let's assume uh, I have a Mahir column like this, M -E -H -E -R, Mahir Mahir in one, in one column, in one of the table, maybe let's say like table 1 and then in the table 2, I have a value like maybe M -E -H -I -R, right? a small spelling correction, right? so still I want to get this data. So because both are almost looking the same, so still I want to perform the match and then get the data back. So that is the case where you need to consider using the fuzzy joins. So in real time, usually uh, when people try to handle a sales kind of data or when people try to match the addresses between the two data sets uh, or names between the two data sets where a customer or a, or a operator uh, on the system may have entered the values with some spelling corrections. So in the cases, we try to go with a fuzzy join to fetch the details by matching them even though there is a little bit of similarity or more similarity. So we can set a threshold also. So in the fuzzy join, right, behind the scenes, one algorithm will be executed and try to match these two values for the similarity, whether how much similar these two are. And there will be a score like 80% similar or 70% similar. You can set that algorithm score also. So if this percentage of similarity is there, then get the value or get the row for me by making them match. So that's how fuzzy joins will actually work. When I practically explain you, you will get a more sense of it. So this is my Azure data factory here. So let me practically explain you one example here. So here I have a data lake storage called ADLS Mahir and inside that I have a sa sample container, a container name with a sample container and under data folder I have a file called sales1.csv. If you see here I have a uh, Mahir, Annu and Pradeep and we have some sales information like laptop, mouse purchased by Annu, keyboard purchased by Pradeep and all. And let's assume this information was entered into the system by one of the sales executive there. And now let me go to the sales2 file. So there is a in the same uh, ADLS Mahir account under the sample container under the data folder there is another file called sales2.csv and if you closely observe this file also has a sales information but if you see the names here Mahir spelled a little bit incorrectly M-H-E-A-R but if you see here it is M-A-H-E-A-R right and then if you see Annu is A-N-N-I and if you see here it is A-N-N-U and then if you see the Pradeep is P-A-D-E-E-P -E -E and if you see the sales one file, it is P-R-A-D-E-E-P. -E -E so that means uh, it, it looks like a similar customer only, but my sales executive might have entered the names with incorrectly or with some little bit of the spelling corrections here and there. So in these cases, still I want to make sure this rows will get match based upon the names and get the data back to me. So how to do that? In these cases only, you have to consider using the fuzzy joins. So let me go to Azure Data Factory and let me practically show you that. So let me go to author menu here. And I have already created a data set for sales here. If you see, it is pointing to the sample container, data folder and sales one. And I have something called sales two also. This is also pointing to the sales container, data folder and sales two. Okay. So now let me create a new data flow here. And here, let's try to add two sources here. So first one is source one. So let me name it like maybe sale one and here I am going to select my sales one data set here which is pointing to the sales one CSV file and then let me add another data source and let me name it like sale two 
and inside this I am going to select sale 2 data set which is pointing to the sales 2 file. So let me go to sale 1 here and let me perform the data preview here. Make sure to perform the data preview you need to enable this data flow debug option. So you, only then you can preview the data right. So if you haven't enabled that when you are trying it make sure to enable it. See from the sale 1 I am able to get the data Mahir, Anu, Pradeep and the Mahir purchased 2 laptops, Anu purchased 3 mouses, Pradeep purchased 4 keyboards and everything is fine. So let me go to sale 2 and let's go to data preview and let me refresh the data preview in the sale 2 file as well. Great. So now I got the sales 2 file information also. If you closely observe the names has little bit of spelling corrections here and there. Okay. So now let's assume I want to perform the join between these two data sets on the basis of the name column. So usually what you do, you will try to add a join transformation here and in the join transformation let's assume I want to perform inner join and I want to perform sale 1 with the sale 2. If you see the name of the source transformation here, it is sale 2. Okay. Now I want to perform inner join only and here let's assume from the sale 1 I want to take the name column and also from the sales 2 file I want to take the name column and I want to perform the join. See right now I haven't enabled this fuzzy matching. So I just simply trying to say like if the names values in the both the files are same then get that information. Now if I preview the data preview what will happen as you might be expecting the data preview will be giving no results actually. See no output data. Why because? If you if you if you have closely seen sale one has M A H E E R and then if we see the sale two it has value M A H E A R so there is a slight mismatch right and uh, when you use this uh, uh, join operator like equals to not equals to then it will fetch the values only the values matches exactly same if there is a slight difference also then you will not get the triggered back right so in this cases only you have to go and use this fuzzy matching the moment you select a fuzzy matching if you closely observe it says there is no equijoin operator here now. So now it shows something called similarity threshold like how much similar on basis of how much similarity you want to fetch the draw. Maybe I want to make sure even say 60 percentage of similarity is there then fetch the information like match condition. If if I increase this bar to 100 percent that means like exact match. If the exact match is there then only get that particular row. So I can keep in middle or I can keep little low like maybe if 60% of the similarity is there or if let's assume if 80% of the similarity is there then get that row like that I can set the threshold here and also uh, when you selected this fuzzy matching make sure to click this turn broadcast option this is a warning message simply click that button and now now let's go to data preview so previously we got a no data output right now let's try to refresh this and see whether this fuzzy join help us to fetch the rows even though there is a slight changes here and there so let's wait for the uh, data preview to happen here Great. Now see, I am able to get this Mahir value also and MHER Mahir also. Like I am able to get the that particular row by matching these two values even though they are not exactly same. So and also same, same case with the Pradeep also. So now, now uh, the algorithm is deciding how much similarity percentage it has and then it will give you the data. And if you closely observe, it will give you another column here called similarity score also. This is similarity score also will tell you like these two columns values are matching almost 83 percent with similarity according to the algorithm inside of the data flow. Similarly here the Pradeep and Padeep here if you see the similarity level is 85 percent. For, for some reason if you want to make sure this column also part to be your output columns then what you can do it here in the join you can use this uh, similar score column and you can give some name to that column with that name this column will be added into your output columns okay so let me name it like maybe like a similarity level like that similarity level so this is the name i am giving now let's go here and let's try to refresh the data and let's wait for the preview to happen here great now if you closely observe this similarity level column also became a part of your output columns right so this is how the fuzzy giants works in the mapping data flow let me go back to presentation I hope you understood what is fuzzy giant and how to work with the fuzzy giants using the giant transformation. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.